shark fans and islanders welcome back to another video in today's video it's all about o searchers expedition and my own expedition endeavors i'm going to give you an update on that i'm also going to answer some of your questions so stick around should be a quick but informative video for anybody new to the channel i did a full documentary on great white sharks in british waters i also did a full series discussing food sources water temperature covered the attacks in British waters up to now or encounters and uh, various other shark related things but to just give you a quick overview I believe great white sharks frequent British waters I don't believe they're resident here year round but if you watch the series you understand why and go into those it's linked below for more details but essentially water temperatures are optimal they mirror those of South Africa areas in California southern Australia where we know we've got large aggregations of great whites. It's a common misbelief that our water's too cold. These are a laminidae shark. They don't particularly like warm water. There's loads of food sources here. We have the biggest seal colony in Europe, in Scotland. Cornwall also has a large seal colony. We've got foraging fish, bluefin tuna, dolphins. There's no question that there's enough here for them to eat. And if you look at this habitation map, it's an absolute mystery as to why they're not here or haven't been confirmed yet because if you look at the latitude they're up there they follow the same pattern east and west coast of america south africa etc so we know they should be here question is why haven't we found them yet guys we're going to the uk we're going to the med so for those who watched the video on this osers which is a shark data tagging organization probably sort of top tier shark research in the world, certainly around great white sharks, plan to come to the UK and the Mediterranean, uh, spend approximately four to six weeks in British waters and Ireland looking for great white sharks. They're backed by scientists, uh, various marine biologists, etc. And they have looked at all the data and believe there should be white sharks in this area. Now I am not affiliated with OSEARCH. I'm not speaking on their behalf. I have spoken to them and I know where they're up to with the expedition. Let's go. So Osearch did a video last week about World Oceans Day. Chris Fisher, their expedition leader, talked about the Mediterranean expedition and more importantly, related to the British expedition. That's linked below. Watch the whole thing. I'm only summarizing. Well, let me just show a quick clip. Starting next year, we're moving the ship over to solve the puzzle of the Mediterranean white shark. We believe the Mediterranean white sharks are likely moving north in the uh, summer times to forage just like um, our white sharks do off the east coast of the United States. And we believe that they're probably going somewhere around the UK, Ireland, or Western Europe, up where the seals are. We believe the sharks winter in the med and over summer. Now, now to me, that makes sense, especially when you've seen the Bay of Biscay sightings that I covered one last year. It would fall in line with that sort of time scale of the sharks leaving the med, potentially heading north to British coast, Ireland, and even further than that, up where Denmark area, with some incredible sightings there, which I've translated in the past. I keep moving around, guys, because the weather is horrific. I'm trying to get out of the wind. This morning, I was planning on doing this on the kayak out in the water, but it's just not been happening. I mean, the conditions that when I went paddleboarding the other day was how it was forecast for now. So this is what it should have looked like. But in Britain, we work with the weather we've got to work with. But anyway, let's get down to business. What are Rosearch doing? So I spoke to Chris Fisher directly, but also from their Ocean, World Ocean Day podcast video update. Basically, they're not finished what they're doing in Nova Scotia and a place in Newfoundland, which I think is East Canada. They're about 90% complete, so they don't want to move their entire research vessel to Europe when they essentially need to tag a few more uh, adults. They've had something like 80% of the sharks that they've got data from are sub-adults. They want some big adults, so they've got very good reason to believe that this area up in Newfoundland is uh, going to be excellent for the sharks because remember Lydia the shark that was going to that they believed was crossing the Atlantic they tagged it um, as far as almost near Ireland off the west coast of Ireland well she went north into this Newfoundland area and they believe a lot of others have done the same I think they've got data on a few others that have done that so they're going to do that and then in 2023 so they were due to come uh, August September 22 this year uh, so 2023 is when they're going to come now uh, to the UK, which is bittersweet, really. I was really excited, especially because I've been invited on board. You know, I was really looking forward to that. It is what it is. I look forward to it. I'll update you, of course, on any of those sightings. And I'll be honest, I really do think the west coast of Ireland is going to be a very possible spot for these sharks as well. That's an area I'd like to explore in the future. 
So I suppose we should get on and talk about my plans. As far as my own expedition plans go, for those who have been following along on the channel, I uh, appreciate not all of you watch my videos, all of them. I have bought a boat, it's a Warrior 165, so it's a 16 and a half foot uh, boat. It's got a hull shape that's really good British waters, which is excellent for uh, what I need. It's small enough for me to handle on my own, and I've been kitting it out with the latest sort of technology, uh, sort of sonar, down scanning, side scanning, uh, for sort of, certainly when I start chumming to see what's coming in. Uh, these sort of fish finders are really good for finding big masses like sharks and that's why I went with the low rant one that I went for based on people who go out catching taupe fish which is a form of shark there's been some really good activity I've put a few pictures up on the screen uh, what the guys have been bringing in uh, in these waters and it's quite impressive so I'm looking forward to getting on and doing that the boat is going to be kitted with their underwater submarine which is capable of um, 300 foot, obviously it's an ROV, it's remotely operated with cameras. Uh, I've got diving gear, obviously free diving gear. I've got a sea scooter for so I can propel myself in the water. I think I may have the perfect chum recipe, by the way, developed uh, by a guy in South Africa, and I've been working with him. Looking forward to testing that out and seeing what comes, because you've got to remember, British waters, and, and my channel is not just about great white sharks, it's about all sharks. Uh, poor beagle sharks, which are like mini great whites, makos, blue sharks, threshers everything and uh, not forgetting orcas there was an orca sighting here on the island uh, on the south of the island last week there is some footage it's a bit grainy uh, in my opinion it could be a minky whale because orcas don't often travel on their own especially the john co uh, pod so i hope to go and track a few more of them down and obviously basking sharks this island is a hot spot for basking sharks um, so yeah, we're going to go out and we're going to do lots. I spent a lot of time either in the kayak, uh, free diving, etc. So I'm always in the water and I'm really excited to see what comes. As far as I know, nobody has really done much of this since like 2011. Interestingly, remember I previously said about the uh, wind farms potentially putting sharks off? There's a whole load of research now which suggests that these are actually, there's new reefs forming around them and that there's actually been some really good shark activity because probably, I don't know how many miles off the island, we have a massive wind farm. So I'll be interested to uh, go and explore there on the Warrior. Obviously the Warrior is not built for multi-day adventures. Ideally, I'll be just doing single day stuff uh, until I do a multi-day expedition where I can stop over on various areas of land. I also believe the Monarch Islands is where I really want to get to just around about where seals start pupping because that's where the sharks are. Where there are seals, there are sharks. And there's probably, I can't remember the figure, this many seals born there every year. Easy pickings for predatory sharks. And as we know, we've got big predatory sharks in these waters. So if you look over there, there's two boats, same as mine, warriors. So it's gonna be good. Can't wait to bring you guys along for that. Obviously, I'm gonna uh, document it all on the channel. Uh, I did get quite a lot of questions, uh, which I'll go through shortly. One of which was about, uh, did I ever contact the Discovery or National Geographic channel in relation to sort of Shark Week? Would they be interested in this? To be completely honest with you, number one, I don't think they come to me anyway. I'm not a marine biologist. And number two, I want to make it sort of visible for everybody. So that's why it's on YouTube. Okay, so I've got some of your questions up here that I've put out there on Instagram. What are the chances of finding a Greenland shark your way? very remote they are in our waters they have been confirmed i believe they're the oldest living shark or oldest living vertebrae or something uh, but yeah very rare they do occasionally wash up on beaches there was an article recently where they filmed it filmed one and thought it was the megalodon uh, by the way i don't believe in the megalodon will you just be chumming the irish sea or all of the isles uh, initially irish sea uh, and then you know we'll have to see how it develops the thing about this sort of expedition plan is it's not gonna be a one trick pony. I'm gonna be going out multiple times, doing multiple different things. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. Like I said, the plan is to do various areas of Britain, including Cornwall, uh, Devon Way, down there. Definitely intrigues me now that we think that the big sharks come up from the Med uh, on a foraging mission. And if nothing else, can you imagine if I come across a load of bluefin tuna or something like that, it'd be insane. Where are you heading first? Well, off here, between here and Wales, uh, the Isle of Man and Wales because we have a large short fin Atlantic Makos confirmed in this area. What's not to love about that? 
Uh, I have built a, a seal uh, with a camera built in for trailing along behind the boat, but I've got to work out the legalities of using that yet. Believe it or not, it's not straightforward. Same with the chumming. Now, what are the chances of these sharks traveling along the channel towards Brighton? Same chances everywhere else, I suppose. Uh, I mean, what do you guys think? Comment below. Uh, are you going to the Monarch Islands? Absolutely. Where and when are you going and how many people are you taking with you? Like say, one day adventures with me and a couple of others, maybe Hambo, uh, father-in-law or brother-in-law, they're all divers. But as we uh, evolve, who knows? I can be sure of one thing though, bring you guys along for the ride. Are you interested in going to Moray Firth? There's been a quite incredible sighting there. I did discuss sightings in another video. Uh, where do you think the best chances of finding great white sharks in the UK will be? West coast of Ireland, west coast of Scotland and Cornwall area. Uh, don't rule out northeast. Uh, there's been some very large mako activity around there. Uh, I presume you're going to check to see if there's been any orca sightings first before finding a uh, location for great whites as the two don't mix. To be honest, if I came across orcas, I'd, I would absolutely love that. Uh, there's been some crazy footage of them just tipping up around people with paddle boards and that. Can you imagine? Still involving O-Search, I feel like I've answered that one. Will you get to tag and name any great white sharks? To be honest, if we even find a great white shark, I don't think I'm going to be top of the list to tag it. <laughs> However, if I somehow miraculously manage to film one, who knows, why not? What's your opinion on looking around the coast of Cornwall? Big seal population? Yeah, definitely. And if anything, Cornwall's got loads of blue sharks. I think you can go diving with those as well. Yeah, what's your plan of attack? Are you going to anchor up and shove the water and see what comes along? Uh, I'm going to do some fishing as well. Uh, shark fishing, catch and release. Got to remember, they've got no skeletal system, so you've got to be quite fragile with them. Like dragging big sharks on the boat it's not ideal especially not with my boat but i have enough camera technology where trust me if i find something you're going to see it what are the chances of a resident great white in the uk or would they only be visitors yeah there's no way we've got resident great whites to be honest i mean the debate's out there whether we have any at all uh, if anything they're only here at uh, certain times of year vagrant visitors uh, coming up following the foraging fish or other research potentially coming across the atlantic although they have tagged Mediterranean sharks and the ones off the east coast of America and Africa and there's no DNA matches, so there's no, no data to support that. Thanks as always for coming along on this journey. Uh, appreciate all the views and comments. Obviously, I'm passionate about this shark thing. I think I have to find a new name for you guys, though. I can't always call you shark fans. I don't really think British shark enthusiasts is that catchy. So if you can think of anything, bang it down below and I'll accredit it to you in the next video. There's not been many shark sightings this year, really, to be honest. It's been quite quiet, but obviously the British media have had a lot of other things to uh, focus on. In my opinion, they're here, but I'm not an expert. I'm not a marine biologist. I'm just the guy who's out there willing to go out and film it and do some stuff. There's scientific research that backs this. Did you see that thing a couple of months ago where they found a bloody whale carcass in the middle of the Amazon or somewhere? And it baffled scientists initially as to how it got there. I think they figured it out in the end. But it just shows you we know very little about our oceans and it only takes a few people to get out there and research it. So without making this video too long, thanks for coming along. Stick around and all that good stuff, subscribe and everything because pretty soon the boat's going out. Thanks as always, take it easy guys. Yeah.